So, there I was, publishing a new video to my second channel, my shorts channel. When I heard my scav load into raid, I saw I had a tank battery, but there's, there's fighting going on. So I made a very quick decision to, I'm just going to extract, we're not going to fight, we're not going to risk it, we're just going to get out of the tank battery, because why not? And... I'm very happy to get this because I've been putting off playing my PMC until I get this tank battery. Because I absolutely hate finding them in raid when you're on a PMC. I refuse to carry this thing out of raid with me, ever, as a PMC. It's just, it's not worth it. It gets you killed. It's such a, such an odd task item. I always wait to get one either from my scav case or to find one on my scav and... The fact I spawned with one. Normal, normal. The fact I spawned with one makes me very happy. I'm passively enjoying Tarkov right now. There's just certain things in Tarkov that irritate me for some reason. I, I can't tell you what those things might be. Maybe show you, I guess. But I'm having general fun. I got to the level I was expecting this wipe, which I wanted to get to level 30, just so I could get, you know, workbench level 3, get a fully operational moonshine business going in my hideout. And at this point, when I play Tarkov, it's just, you know, I might do tasks, might not. As much as I enjoy Tarkov, there comes a point where you hit wipe cycles a bit too much. And I've played this one, I think, more than I, I realistically should have as well. I'm enjoying it, but it's still... The fact that this all gets reset upsets me. I just want to play the game and understand the story and actually play the RPG aspect of Tarkov. PvP's better, but it's not... There needs to be context behind the PvP in Tarkov always. And at the end of the day, I'm just doing these tasks over and over again. And I'd rather play other games. I'd rather work on making other types of content. Some of the crazy content I've made over the last couple weeks. It frame that follows me regularly. Again, still enjoying the game. And ultimately, I guess what I'm trying to say is... It's okay to take breaks from Tarkov. And it's okay to not... You don't have to aim for Kappa every wipe. I have a buddy called Tragic that some of you might have seen on this channel from time to time. His goal for this wipe, for example, was level 40. He wanted to get level 40 specifically because he wanted to get the Black Lynx hoodie camo. And I believe the Striker Infill Ops pants. Look out for other bad scavs out there. No, I'm, I'm not one of the bad scavs. Yeah, I doubt that, motherfucker. What? I want to be a bad scav. There's no trust, man. I... I no, mean, I'm a good you know, scav. I'm just, look, I'm just hanging out with the Tequila, dude. Tequila. Yeah, no, if uh if Tagilla aims on you, all the all the other scabs will shoot you. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Having goals like that that are realistically attainable, rather than going, I wanna get Kappa every wipe. I don't like to play the game just to get clips. Or if I am playing it, I'm not playing it with the idea of clipping in mind. Cause sometimes I like to just play games to enjoy them, so that way I can share in my passion with you guys. Tarkov's PvP. While it's fun, it's enjoyable, I absolutely enjoy doing the gunplay, I've absolutely enjoyed some firefights I've gotten in this wipe. The fact that the context in the RPG element of this game is still missing to me. The story just isn't there yet. BSG keeps changing it, or moving it, and ultimately I don't want to work on grinding out Lightkeeper until I know for certain that this game isn't going to wipe. I want to play a non-wipe version of the game, but I want to play it in multiplayer with people because that adds an element to the game that makes it enjoyable. One of the things that really gets me into Tarkov is the environmental storytelling. I really enjoy the aspects of this game that are more suited to storytelling, that are more in, in terms of the environment, so when you're looking around and taking in what's going on around you, when you're reading the quest dialogue, when you're getting translations of what's being said by bosses and scavs, you start to pick up you know, when you watch the the Raid series movie, when you start parsing through the books a little bit, you start to pick up what the story of Tarkov is. 
and I think it's a it's a beautiful struggle of humanity. And I'm I'm very curious to see where this kind of all plays out. I, I do know they have the game Russia 2028 planned in the future, but I think having an actual RPG story that people can follow in game and not having to piece it through all this mystery would make for a much more enjoyable experience for the for the for the player as well as probably the developer you know we're at a point where everybody just plays the game for combat and just plays the game for that dopamine of hey i'm i've hit this level in this achievement right at a certain point that's that's not enough for a game at a certain point the game like the internal grind set in tarkov is beautiful i enjoy that aspect i enjoy the I enjoy the raid loop very much. I think that's one of the, the one one of the juxtapositions of the game is that on one hand, the in raid experience, the moments that can happen in this game are beautiful. On the other hand, when we're playing outside of the game, when we're playing Stash Simulator, when we're trying to fight the the dialogues, when you're trying to understand Tarkov without looking up guides. I want to be clear. Think about Tarkov without Map Genie. Think about Tarkov without YouTube guides. Think of Tarkov without the Tarkov wiki. The in-game dialogue on a lot of these quests and the in-game maps are insanely unhelpful. And while I, I appreciate it as a content creator, the, the drive to traffic of, of people coming to places like YouTube because Tarkov teaches its game so poorly, and teaches its story so poorly. I would much rather have a Tarkov where we get invested into the story of Tarkov. There is a PMC up here. We're coming. He's in the office. I don't think I have high enough rep to see him. No, he's fine. He's friendly right now. Just come in. I pacified him. I hope so. Mr. Tagilla, I got a serious question about our Lord and Savior. Oh! Oh, he did Molly Walk! This is how he gets some free loot. 